and all these murder hits like my name. Good morning, class. My name is Professor M. I'll be your English teacher this year. Due to COVID-19, we'll be meeting on Zoom, but we can still connect together as a class and as a family. So let's get to know each other a bit, do a little icebreakers. Uh, Tajir LaCroix, uh, we'll start with you. Um, I'm gonna ask you, what's something you really like? Like dogs. All right, Samathan, uh, what what do you really like? Uh, uh, dinosaurs. Rouse, um, what's something you really like? Uh, 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 Mr. Corey Jones, what's something that you really like? Uh, I like I like playing Minecraft. Direct Huh? What's your favorite animal? What's your favorite animal? <clears throat> yeah, so just listen here. Yeah. Won't you wait and see? Just like that, had to go way, way back. I know this school year is a little fucked, but I went back to school on August 13th. Kinda. You had the choice to do remote learning, which was just online assignments, or go to public school where you went two to three days a week and the schedules would change every week. So I decided to try that out and I went to public school. I mean, shit, that's like a guaranteed two to three days off. How the schedule worked though was, half the school would be there one day, and the other half would be there the next. So Thursday the 13th came, and I went to school. And I left after two hours. Um, ciao. Anyway, so... I decided to go to online school since kids were taking off their mask, there was absolutely zero social distancing in the halls, and for some reason we were only allowed to go to the restroom once a day, and that time was at 10.45 a.m. So, um, no thanks. I'd rather have comfort in my own home. But, 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 icebreakers. I remembered my biggest pet peeve about the first week of school, and I believe this also happens in some workplaces, ice fucking breakers. If you don't know what icebreakers are, it's the activity where you're forced to explain yourself or talk about yourself to other students or co-workers, primarily in bonding activities or on the first day. Like those sheets where it can be like, what's your favorite animal? Three hobbies, favorite school subject, future career interests, how many pets did you have? What was your last vacation? What animal would you be? Blah, 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 blah. It gets even worse when you have to actually communicate these things with other people when literally no one cares about it or wants to do it. On this specific Thursday, I got into English class. There was just four of us. Apparently, nine people were supposed to be in class that day, but totally dipped the fuck out. We picked up this dumbass sheet from the table, sat down, and it was your typical nightmare. Favorite color, three interests, favorite career, college year nay, family, pets, blah blah. I looked at the other three people and I just kinda went, eh, I'm not really gonna do this. So after the teacher introduced herself and all of her interests for 20 minutes, instead of taking her icebreaker sheet, she walked around and went to the individual four of us and asked us each three questions. One, family. Two, any sports or personal hobbies or three what is our future career i hadn't said a word in the hour and a half i'd been at school and then she got to me last instead of asking about my family or career she just asked me what my hobbies were so i thought about my resume well let's see we have record label owner manager musician a pretty versatile one not to uh check myself off youtuber voice actor shut up bitch all I told her was that I'm an investor and I've made a lot of money off the stock market, which one of those two things is a lie. I mean, fuck, you think I'd say I'm a YouTuber or a musician? <laughs> Hell no. I try to keep that shit low-key as shit. And there's a good chunk of people from my school who know my shit too. That is embarrassing, honey, trust me. I just find it incriminating to uh, not only reinforce a shitload of personal traits that no one cares about to each other, but then forcing me to talk about in front of the whole class. The biggest bonus of being mildly popular behind the scene is that I can see absolutely no one's live reaction when I say some stupid shit or drop a song that absolutely sucks. You know, like in this video, I, fr I probably say some really dumb stuff in my videos and I can never see your guys' live reaction to it. And that is like the best. It's like like you're broadcasting your work behind the curtains on a stage. Nobody can see you, and that is perfect. Every time I have to step in front of the class, I just collapse mentally, bro. Oh my god. It was really awkward freshman year. The first day in every fucking class I had it. Like, bro, why? Please. I stay silent. I don't fuck with nobody unless we're already acquainted. You're already forced to hear about everyone's pastimes, and it's always the same shit. Uh, yeah. I like to listen to music, work out, play sports, play 2K, Fortnite, Oh. And then it's my turn, and then I'm on some shit like, I'm a person online who plays a funny wolf character that's a little out of whack and makes music where I cry about being lonely and rap about money. Bitch, if it was an audience, they would boo. Nobody cares about that. 
In my psychology class, there were icebreakers on the first day where you had 25 boxes on a sheet. One was born in another state, one was being mixed, having a certain number of pets, parents divorced, blah blah blah. You had to go around the room and have someone write their name in a spot they had and relate to just spilling all your personal business and shit to fill all 25 boxes. But the biggest deal right there was that one box said they practice celibacy. Before I explain the definition of celibacy, which I'm probably absolutely slaughtering that fucking word, um, celibacy is the act of not having sex before marriage, kinda. That's like a dummy explanation. Bitch, we are like four, huh? But um, yeah. Icebreakers kind of suck, and I don't understand why you subject this to us. A written letter or an email in advance would be sexy. I'm glad I left school early that day and I can just do all my shit virtually where no one else sees me. And if you are going to public school right now, stay safe, please. Wash your hands, keep your mask on, and don't fuck with no hoe. Stay blessed. We the best music. Hello, class. Uh, today we're going to learn about the letter C. C <laughs> as in Thank cat here. Hey, 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 no swearing in the classroom. But C as in cat, you know, C's my favorite letter. It's the third letter in the... Samathan, no drinking in the classroom. I got a new petite filet on my wrist. <laughs> oh, fuck. I, oh. Tajir, Tajir, please don't rap in the classroom. Uh, unless you're rapping about the letter C. My wrist. Uh, Do you know about my the letter chain, C? My team, look at my hey, wrist. Hey, oh, hey, Mr. Fortnite, stop playing on your Nintendo Switch. No, no, no. Samathan, stop. Are you smoking? Yo, can I introduce you to my new favorite rapper in the NBA Young Boy? If you get lonely, think of me only. Prison isn't going to kill